right, let's head back out to the Fox News Now set. That's right, Pilar Arias has been streaming all day, and she has, I believe, some cute, what do we call it, Friday? Furry, I said furry friend Friday. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're gonna even, coin that. Even more animal videos. I know you guys just had the goats, but these will pull at your heartstrings on a feel-good Friday. Perhaps that's the best way. So this first one I have for you, you know we see the welcome home videos all the time. People serving in the military, surprising their spouses or surprising their children. Well, what about surprising your loved furry one? Watch this. What is that, bud? What is that? What's that? What's that, buddy? What is that, buddy? Yeah, an Army pilot deployed to Afghanistan returns home in Illinois and gets his four-legged wingman back to Zach Mahaska, returned home to Woodstock, Illinois, after doing a four-month tour of duty in Afghanistan. When he got back, he and his family decided to see if his dog, a golden retriever named Buddy, could do a manhunt for a reunion with his old missing pal. Now, Buddy was adopted by Zach while he was in flight school. All right, this next one I have for you. Yeah, this is in Florida. Over a thousand people gathered today to cheer the release of two sea turtles who were rescued and rehabilitated at the Florida Keys based Turtle Hospital. Both were fitted with satellite tracking transmitters and returned to the ocean to become part of the Tour de Turtles, which is an annual event organized by the Sea Turtle Conservancy to follow the long distance migration of different species of sea turtles. So lots of cheers there. They are called Little Money, speaking of animal names, a 365 pound female female green sea turtle and Coco, a 215 pound male loggerhead. They joined a group of about 17 turtles that will race from August 1st to October 31st and be tracked online. The public can track the progress of the sea turtles online. So if you want to look that up, but look at that video. Wasn't that pretty cool there? All right, this next one will make you smile. Or tired. <laughs> a Texas zoo welcoming a rare White lion cub, the seven week old cub named Luna, is on public display at the Tiger Creek Animal Sanctuary in Tyler. Oh, She's I one know. of fewer than 500 white lions left in the world. So what do you guys think about that? Super cute, huh? I love it. Yeah, great way to end the week. <laughs> and uh, with Buddy jumping on the couch, the dog. Did you see when he looked back and whoever, he was like, look, he literally had a smile on his yeah, face. Yeah, he knew, he knew. That was Dogs great. Dogs just get it, you guys. Yes, they <laughs> do. That was awesome. Thanks, Pilar. All right, Pilar. Thank you. Great way to wrap up the week. That's